Hi guys, so today I am going to try something a little bit different. I am going to be baking a pavlova. I have never done this before, but I was inspired because uh, Preppy Kitchen has this video on how to make a pavlova and I'm going to follow it. And I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. So let's see how this goes. I think I have most of my ingredients, but let's see what he has to say. Keep it quality on the inside. First off, let's just draw a circle. That's simple. We got this. Okay, so I found a plate that measures about seven inches wide and I traced it. Simple enough. Check. Done with the first part. Okay, so John suggested that we clean all the stuff we're using with a little bit of... I'm using lemon. So I am getting all my stuff clean so that it doesn't ruin my meringue. Of course. Okay, now I'm cracking the eggs and separating them. This is the most important part for the meringue. I am separating them with my hands because that's what John said to do. Okay, now it's time to measure the other ingredients. This is my super fine sugar and I am very good at following directions. So I am adding it very slowly, little by little to make sure that my meringue turns out right. See, I took it very seriously. I am doing it little by little. This looks so good. That's a stiff peak. I think we are good. The sugar seems to be dissolved. Let's move forward. All right, I'm adding one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, this is it. It looks so good. I am very happy with the way it came out and now we are ready to put it on the cookie sheet. All right, I, may, I don't make this part look as good as he does, but I have to say this was the hardest part of the recipe, getting it to be the shape I want it to be. I had to start over many times and just kind of destroyed what I did, but I don't give up easily, so I am going to get it. So I did this part first, and then I realized there's not enough place for my strawberries, so there's not enough room to put my strawberries in the middle, so see, I decided to restart. This time, I'm, I'm happy with it, so that's it. We're baking it forever. And of course, I have to add my own touch, and I decided to cut each and every single strawberry into a heart shape. I think it's totally worth it. It took me forever, but I mean, seriously, look how adorable they look. I love them. Yep, totally worth it. All right, I'm totally going to eyeball this because I'm following the video and that's what it says and I don't think I can mess this up. Let's see. Now I am making the whipped cream. Yum. That's right. I got this. I gotta remind myself that sometimes. Okay guys, that's it. I have my pavlova ready. I have my whipped cream. I actually made some lemon curd. We're gonna see how that goes and my heart-shaped strawberries. And now I'm gonna head over to my sister's and assemble this right before dinner so that it's super nice and fresh. I will show you guys how it comes out and I will show you guys how it looks and I will let you guys know how it tastes. So far, I give this recipe two thumbs up. Are you filming? Yes. I made lemon curd and I decided I am definitely adding it. Whipped cream. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. Strawberries! Heart shaped strawberries. That's it. The pavlova is ready to be served.